All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. It's time for another week in review, and today is the 9th of April, Friday, uh, 2021. Uh, it has been a great week uh, because of you guys, and I appreciate it so much. We had an amazing stream, KF Live, Knives Fast Live on Monday night. Uh, I was just blown away by the support uh, and the fun we had, and there will be another one this uh, Monday night. And if you can be there, please do. We will have a blast um, because of the community side of it. It is just so much fun. Yeah, we talk about knives, uh, but we talk about a little bit of everything, and it is a lot of fun. So who knows what I'll come up with to talk about between now and Monday, but uh, cannot wait. Had a really good week uh, as far as knives coming in. Kind of a little slower than some, so this won't be a super long video. Uh, but um, there's plenty to come. I know there's more stuff coming into the channel and a bunch of great reviews lined up, which we'll talk about towards the end of this video. So thank you so much again, and let's get over to the table and see uh, what we have to talk about for this week. All right, so here we are at the table, and it's time to start off with a pocket check and let's do that. So uh, let me move this guy out of the way and we'll talk about it in a moment. But uh, as far as the pocket check today, I haven't talked a lot about this. Got this knife in uh, from my buddy Lefty EDC. Actually won it on the On the Edge uh, stream with uh, Lefty and uh, Kyle at DTOM Knives and Gear. Um, won it on their live stream uh, On the Edge, which I think they're live again. This uh, is airing on Friday and they're live again Saturday, so tomorrow. Um, and guys, this thing is actually pretty cool. I actually wasn't planning on doing a review on it, but I think I will. Uh, Lefty took this guy apart and worked on it, um, put some new bearings in it. So we'll talk about it a little bit and give it a review. I actually dig it. Nice size, good ergos. Um, you know, a little short, but not, not bad just because it locks you in like that. Uh, great texture here. Uh, VG10 blade, so uh, I like VG10, but I don't love it. Um, it has a little click on the on the um, detent there. I don't know if you can hear that or not, right when it flips out. Uh, but other than that, really neat knife. Also got this uh, Shadowborn Hank uh, with the topographical map there. I'll show that a little better in a minute from Lefty. Uh, also in the pocket today is the ever-beautiful, ever-awesome uh, gray denim micarta um, Finch 1929. You guys know I love this knife. It is in my pocket an awful lot. I mean, just listen. I just love this thing, guys, and uh, uh, just awesome. And you've heard me talk about that one a million times. The Leatherman Micra, always in the pocket. The new Tour uh, EDC tool, which uh, drop in tomorrow as well. I'll have kind of a look at my tour knives collection so far, and we'll talk more about this one in that. So won't spend a ton of time on it. And again, I just thought I'd show off this Hank because it's pretty cool. You got the microfiber back here on the back, the topographical, uh, whatever you call it, not map, but layout. I mean, I guess it's from a map, but there you go. Really, really cool. Uh, and that's kind of what was in the pocket today. So you know what to do. Uh, go down in uh, the comments and let me know what you were carrying today. By the way, didn't say hi to Ren, a Stimpy, and Powdered Toast Man, so we better do that now. Hello, guys. Uh, so as far as uh, what dropped this week, um, as far as reviews, oh, well, first I almost skipped something. So we do need to talk about it. I just uh, dropped the unboxing of this earlier today, so I'm not going to say a whole lot more about it, but this is... The Tucson TS-80 from my buddy Jason Brown. Um, and guys, the, only, the thing I realized after the unboxing is this thing is super sharp. Uh, it is incredibly sharp. Uh, Jason keeps his knives up very well. And this is a great one. I cannot wait to carry it and review it. Uh, I am impressed. And by the way, I said in the unboxing, I wasn't sure what this was. It's titanium. It is milled titanium. I think this thing is like eighty dollars uh, for a D two beautifully ground blade, uh, carbon fiber inlays, and milled titanium frame lock. I mean, and with the with the, the just the way it's crafted and everything. Uh, again, I'll do some more research and find more about it before the review. But that's what I'm finding so far. So 
Really, really cool. As far as what was reviewed this week, we had the Button Lock Elementum. Uh, that's one that uh, a lot of you have had an opinion on one way, one way or the other. Uh, you know my opinion. It's that they did a really good beginning of making the knife longer. The first time I held the original Elementum, it was just too small for me and I wasn't super interested. Um, the new one is perfect size. And then they did this uh, locked when it's open, locked when it's closed, button lock. Um, and I'm just not a super fan. So if they turn that into something else, uh, like a flipper, uh, and change the, the, the way that plunge lock is done, uh, then I would be on board big time. Uh, then we did the outdoor review of the Glock 81, uh, field knife, also known as the Austrian army survival knife. Really enjoyed that one. I've already, uh, taking it to where I'm going to give it back to its owner. Uh, so I don't have that one with me. And then the Artisan Aryan, uh, guys, if, if you didn't see that review, that thing is unbelievable. And then next week, like I said, tomorrow, uh, we're dropping a video on my Tour Knives collection. Uh, so far, uh, the Artisan Silax, a great Dylan Mallory designed, I mean, basically camp knife, kitchen knife, fixed blade. Uh, I love it. I um, In there, I cut some apple. Uh, it is really, really well done, uh, good. And then the huge and amazing and slicey CJRB Tigress. It's a big old stinking, uh, you know, D2, uh, G10 uh, flipper with a uh, cleaver style blade, uh, but it is slicey and awesome. Cannot wait for you to see that one. So uh, I want to thank you guys again for watching. Again, uh, check out the Tour Knives 10% off in the description. Check all, out the uh, Patreon, and thank you for those who are supporting me on that. There are, uh, I think, six of you now. It is just amazing. And make sure you join us Monday night for the next KF Live. Uh, guys, give me a comment. Let me know what you think of what you saw today. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you're not already and if you think it's worth it. And thanks so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.